guys welcome to another vlog uh, I know I have been slacking off uh, with the vlogs and I sort of wanted to explain why I guess the main thing is I haven't been slacking as such I've been out and doing things um, but not necessarily having the opportunity or more so having just a really good time with friends and family uh, to be able to get like I guess good content and rather than just trying to get out videos because I say I'm going to do them daily, I don't really want to be bringing out sort of subpar videos, you know, like I don't want to film something and try and make it into a, you know, at least 10 minute long video when it's not really that interesting. Like, I don't know, it's hard because there's things that I don't deem interesting that other people are like, why aren't you filming that and telling us all about it? And I don't know, man, it's... um. It's a tough one, the whole YouTube thing, but I want to try and be a bit more, um, you know, film stuff that I think is interesting and hopefully you guys will still enjoy it and be happy um, that, you know, maybe you won't get them every day. Um, you know, there'll be times and I'll definitely be uploading every day because there's just things going on and, you know, it, it's motivating and everything else. But I think right now with the uh, 350 being broken, uh, the 370 just broke a power steering pump, which I don't even think I filmed, but yeah, power steering pump has gone bad on the 370Z. Uh, the S13 is just waiting for things. Um, the JZX90 has been away being fixed, but that's why I'm making this video today. We're actually heading down to Black Arts to go pick up the JZX90 and see all of the finish pad work, which is phenomenal as usual from black arts amazing job they've done so we're gonna head down there i'm uh, gonna go down the track pick up my trailer first and then head out to black arts and pick up the car we'll take it back to the house and have a look over everything and uh i'm not sure if chop's giving it to me with everything off or on so you know i guess we'll find out shortly but uh yeah enjoy the ride i'm pretty pretty stoked for you guys to see what's done to the jzx90 man because uh it just it's so much better and you know twin turbos are cool and everything but big singles are the way and it's not to be fair i'm not even going that big we're g30 660 so i'm pumped i can't wait to get an ecu for it and be able to put the injectors and everything in but for now uh we're gonna run it on like sort of 10 to 14 psi um so it's not gonna make a great deal more pressure uh, power or anything like that but it's gonna be it's definitely gonna sound cooler and be that little bit more fun because of that. So, all right, let's, enough jibber jabber. We'll head down there and take a look. All right, so we are here at Black Arts. Uh, Chop has done my whole uh, turbo kit, which I'm very pumped on, obviously. The cool thing. The one thing that we were waiting for was the bong for my O2 sensor. Did you end up buying it from somewhere or making no, it? I made that, yeah. So I ended up making it from scratch, okay. Anyway. It still looks mint, but. Fine, yeah. Yeah, fine. he was worried it wasn't gonna look as nice, but it looks really good to me. I don't know. Um, yeah, so new intercooler pipes, gate with modified, well, modified external gate outlet. That should hopefully hold my boost good. Dumb pipe with flexi. And then the remainder of the dump pipe is fabbed up here as well. So obviously going to have a V-band there and a V-band on the turbo. So if I do need to remove the turbo for any reason, super easy. Um, yeah, it all looks super nice. Uh, and he's fixed up some of my intercooler piping. Stuff had a big hole further up in my guard, um, like a gigantic hole, which I can't remember if I put another vlog or not, but gigantic hole in intercooler piping and there's another hole right there i don't know if you can see so we are going to rip that pipe off now and give that a little zap up as well uh, and then i'll be pretty much ready to chuck this thing in the trailer and give chop tiana's cross member <laughs> i'll just remember we got that out so it's ready to go there's a better look at the hole so I had that massive hole there, a humongous hole, like a long slit in one of my other pipes and another hole as well. So my turbo setup, the twin turbo setup has probably been working really hard for a long time. 
um, far too hard and probably that's why I feel like the, at least the front turbo was definitely tired because there's a heap of oil in my uh, intercooler and intercooler pipes. Um, I will have to pull this intercooler off at some point and give it a clean out because it's definitely going to be full of oil. There was heaps of oil in the um, cooler pipes themselves. So that'll be a job for at some point when I actually have the front bumper off. Uh, there's no, I don't, I'm not stressed on the oil in the um, intercooler as such yet. But when I do need to take the front bar off, probably for paint or whatever, I'll get that intercooler off and give it a good clean out as well because there will be definitely some oil sitting in that. Um, trying to think of anything else. Nothing else that I can think of. I'm keen to get this home and fit everything up or at least dummy fit everything up so you guys can check it out. Really happy. All right, finished up here at Black Arts. JZX90 is all loaded up. It looks so freaking good with the chibi plates on it. I'm pumped to have the black chibi plates instead of those dirty WA plates. So yeah, I still need to find a JZX90 front guard. I had one organized and the guy sold it out from under me. It's very frustrating. Um, so yeah, get this back to the house, get it off the trailer, get it in to my undercover area and let's start putting this turbo kit together. Pumped to show you guys. Back at the house now. Get this Johnny unloaded. Man, good to have it back here. It feels like I actually miss this car a lot, so can't wait to get it back on the road. I feel like it's been a lot longer than it has been. All right, unloading starting now. Okay, battery went dead while I was loading the car in here, so I don't know when that went flat. Hope I filmed it. Anyway, so got all my bits laid out. Wait, there's a bit missing. Must still be in the car, but we can actually start putting this back together now. Probably need to do a little bit more of a clean up, but overall pretty much ready to get going on putting it back together. I do still need to get the uh, oil lines. They'll get picked up on Tuesday. Today's currently Sunday and we've got a public holiday tomorrow. So I'm going to at least be able to get this somewhat back together um, and work out what other little bits and pieces too. I, other bits and pieces I need as well because there's a heater line that needs to be rerouted as well. I'll show you that in a sec. All right, so I'm going to start putting some of the little bits and pieces together like my oil, uh, not oil, uh, water neck. And then I'm probably going to block up all these holes and then hit the rest of this with degreaser and give this a probably a pretty decent clean out because it's gross. I'm um, just trying to think if I've got any extra degreaser left. But I'll get my high pressure gun and see if I can find some degreaser and get on to cleaning this out. Why is that stopping? I feel like it should go down further, but it looks fine like where it's sitting. So those bits there I also had welded up, so I chop welded those up, there was outlets there, so I've got rid of those outlets as well, which is nice. Alright, I've hit it with some degreaser, I'm going to do the satisfying part now and... Alright, I'm extremely wet. But most of all, pretty damn clean. Um, obviously, this is just this needs like a proper good scrub that that will definitely need to happen one day. I'm not going to worry about it today. I'm going to go after dinner after. But she's all clean. All the basically, I wanted to just get rid of mainly all the gunk that was sitting on there. Um, I'm going to sit the manifold on, sit the turbo, and get the dump pipe situated, and so it'll, it'll basically be able to show you guys 
what it looks like legitimately exactly where it's going to be when it's finished so i'll piece it all together now all this stuff and see where we're at There we go, finished product, guys. Well, not finished, obviously, I still need to get my oil lines. Like I said, they get here Tuesday. I've got a few things I have to block off. Um, yeah, and then I'm obviously gonna have to do some sort of, do something with a catch can setup as well. Um, I do already have a catch can setup on it originally, but it comes out and goes across here, which is obviously gonna get super hot now, so. I need to find some sort of solution for there and I'm obviously also going to need obviously not straight away but once I start drifting I need to do some sort of heat shield solution around the uh, back of the dump pipe there to keep all the brakes and everything working as they should but overall super neat man I'm, it, it just changes the whole bay completely I think next um, once I get this all sorted my next job I want to set on this car is still to get that lock done but I want to delete the ABS. I think ABS is so busy in this car. Everything all here, that whole corner over there is all ABS. My ABS doesn't work anyway in this car, so I want to delete it. So yeah, that's my next aim. All right, looking at everything here, I'm pretty happy with it all. Sorry, I had, I had to go and do something, but I come back now. Um, I need to get some, obviously need to get some clamps. Um, I'll need to extend my O2 sensor line. Um, do something with my catch can setup, whether I just get like a um, high temperature line uh, to basically to go over to where the catch can sat because it's my catch can over here and uh, I can't really pull it out but that sits, if I remember correctly, that sat, I think it sat here. So I'm going to need to get some like high temperature line. Uh, and other than that just a few bungs for some vacuums i've blocked off my uh, i think it's a idle control valve so apparently it's not much a big deal in the j so hopefully it's not much of a big deal because i have blocked it now um, and i don't have anything to get vacuum back to it so we'll have to see how that situation evolves and whether that's a big leak there or not so I need to uh, probably get some advice on that one but other than that everything else seems pretty straightforward now i want to go ahead and try and see if i can make gk tech mirrors fit all right so i don't know i've got the mirror sitting there guys it's got it's got a bit too much upsweep um i'm not sold on it i think it i'm gonna i can definitely make it work but yeah like rob's tilted it like that that's what it needs to sit like but then go back up where it sits and it sits yeah sits sits higher up so yeah i think i'm gonna i don't know because it does look even where it was so check it back where it was versus the other side i don't know because yeah it probably looks better than stock i i yeah very undecided i wish ganador prices haven't gone insane it wasn't like two or three thousand dollars for a pair of ganador mirrors that's definitely what i get but i think these they just the gk tech mirrors just sit up a little bit too much they're not meant for a jzx90 so i can't complain um alternatively you could fiberglass them and mold them and if someone was really handy with that stuff but that's not me but interesting to try nonetheless the backing plate actually fits amazing the backing plate fits amazing it's just the angle that it sits on is uh not ideal oh well back to the drawing board on mirrors and put the stock one back on um bummer gk tech mirrors on jzx not quite what i was hoping for all right definitely bummed on the mirror situation um but what do you do i don't know i I did like the GK Tech mirrors on there, but not just the angle wasn't right. And without a lot of modifications, like with adding fiberglass and things like that, I don't think I could get them right. So uh, 
maybe one time because I do want to start messing around a bit more with fiberglass I'm gonna bring home a car which if you haven't watched this channel from like the very very start um, I have a left-hand drive car I'm gonna bring home soon that needs some fiberglass work um, so I'm gonna bring that home very soon for you guys to check out for you guys to see we'll take it some events and stuff as well pretty spicy little car um, I think you guys that know about it you know what I'm talking about the guys that haven't seen it yet you I'm sure you guys will like it very cool car um, but we are gonna stop on this for the night there's literally nothing else left I can do until I get to some auto shops which I'll literally have to wait until Tuesday to be able to go and get all the parts I need to finish this off and also pick up the oil lines that were delivered and I don't know we weren't home so we couldn't get the delivery so we will uh, endeavour to have this finished ASAP though the plan is to hopefully have this car registered by sort of Tuesday or Wednesday back on the road yeah pumped I'm very very excited man and I know you guys will be excited to hear this thing as well because it should obviously sound a lot different the G30 660 Pulse Turbo, they really like, they have a lot of spool noise, so they really sound like a, a jet. And I'm hoping my exhaust is really quiet and you'll be able to really hear the thing spool up and then obviously um, the gates plumbed out. So it'll be nice and hopefully nice and quiet with big spool. And then when it cracks gate, it'll crack hard and loud. And I don't know, that's gonna be pretty freaking rad. So anyway, stay positive guys. I'll. Uh, endeavor to get more videos up and uh get back in the groove but uh yeah i don't want to bring out any crap stuff and that's just why you haven't seen any videos lately so uh, i apologize for that and i'll see you guys in the next one stay positive check out my store peace out guys